Good morning, everyone. At the moment, Ali is on a trip with his friends. One of his friends is getting married in a few weeks and we're going to their wedding. Um, and so Ali is enjoying that with them. So I've got the whole house to myself. And at this time, I usually spend a lot of time on my own. I don't know, I've never spoken about this before, but I really, really enjoy having a quiet house with the animals. And yesterday, I literally spent the entire day sat at my writing desk in the guest bedroom um, working, but the best kind of work because it's on a project that I'm really excited I'm going to be able to bring to you in this video. I've learned a lot over the years with things that I've launched and things that haven't gone so well and things that have gone well. I've learned a lot that the most important thing in anything that I do is that I pour as much of myself into these projects as I possibly humanly can. However, with this project, there has never been a project where I've poured more of myself into something because my 35 years on this planet has gone into this and it has been quite possibly one of the most beautiful and cathartic and moving and amazing journeys that I've been on. I'm shaking with excitement that this is now going to be out there in the world because I've never, I've never done anything that I am more proud of. And I also want you to know before we get into it that I have dreamed of doing something like this for years. Dreamed. It has been a huge, huge dream of mine. I am so excited, so, so, so excited to tell you that I have written my first book and it is now available to pre-order and I'll pop all of the details in the description box down below if you want to do so. People that have watched my channel for a while, you'll know I've got quite a special relationship with books and books hit me quite deeply. I know that I often speak to you about the books that I'm reading and the things that touch me in them and my thoughts and sometimes the, the really deep emotions that they evoke in me. I talk quite a lot with you because I really enjoy dissecting books. My love of books don't just stop there, they're displayed everywhere in my home. They're even in my dressing room, which at one point I was like, my dressing room kind of looks like a library, <laughs> we need to rein it back. But books to me are not just beautiful journeys that you read and experiences, they are also like visual art for me as well. They're these things that I prefer to display in my home much more than I think um, other trinkets and things like that. I've, I've got books on every surface. A book, it's so much more tangible and it's such a slower process to put together and come to life. The thought that this book is going to live in your homes and hopefully in your minds and cringily in your hearts, honestly moves me in, in so many ways that I can't even articulate it without crying. But the funny thing is, is that I've dreamed of this for years. I wanted to, to write a book years and years and years ago, back when there was a real kind of boom in influencer books. The opportunities that arose at the time, for whatever reason, never came to fruition. And I have never been more grateful for that in my life because this book, I couldn't have put it out sooner than now. I, I, haven't, I wouldn't have learnt the lessons that I've poured into this book to put something out like this that I am so incredibly proud of. And if that isn't a lesson to, to trust the timing of your life implicitly, I just don't know what is. I really don't because that the comfort that that brings me to know that I have longed for this and it happened at exactly the right moment. So the book is called Evergreen. It is available in hardback, it's available in Kindle and it's available in audiobook as well. Now in my mind, I genuinely have believed, like I've, I've thought about this so much over the past few months and I genuinely think that some of you will end up buying this book twice because you'll want the beauty of this book which we'll be going through but I think you'll also want to listen to me read it as well and so I do but I do honestly believe that there will be people that, that buy the book and the hard book and the hard cover 
but there will also be the people that buy the audiobook or the Kindle. But then there will be the people that buy the hard book and they buy the audiobook. Whether they choose to read it and listen to it at the same time or whether they just want to listen to it but display the book or whether they want to listen to the book and kind of note things down because there are so many, and I've always said this, there are so many nuggets of information and life lessons and moments of clarity and comfort and reassurance that I genuinely believe you're going to want to go back to this book. It's not going to be something that you read once and never pick up again. I think that you'll pick this book up, you'll read it once and it will bring you so many moments of comfort and joy and reminders and lessons and nuggets <laughs> as they are so often called and then you might come back to it in five years and you'll pick it up and all of the notes that are in that book you'll be reminded about the moments where you felt hopeless or the things that you were struggling with then or the, the good times and how different your life is now it will probably end up somewhere you know in a bookcase or in a loft gathering dust when 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 your life has changed or whatever and maybe it will get passed down to your daughter or your granddaughter or your great 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 granddaughter and one day she will pick this up and find the notes that you wrote in that book and she'll have a piece of you oh my god she'll have a piece of you and she'll understand so much about you and i just think and hopefully at that moment, that book will bring that person so much clarity as well. And I want you to know that this book is the hug that I can't give you in those moments when you need it most. But also the high five in your moments of success that you feel like you can't share with certain people or whatever. This is that high five from me to you to say that you're doing amazingly. I'm so, so excited to be able to bring this to you. And I know that my publishers are going to be thinking, oh my gosh, Lydia, did you have to talk so much in the beginning bit? But I think, in all honesty, this is just, it's so huge for me. And I've never been more excited to bring something to you than this. And I've never felt more calm and content and have just poured every ounce of myself into this that it's just, it's cathartic to be telling you about it and exciting that it's now there and the, the link is there and it's just, oh my gosh. Um, so the book, <laughs> so sorry, I'm so sorry. So to tell you a little bit more about Evergreen, it's, it's an essential guide of how to bring more joy into your life, more happiness through the natural world, through the lessons that the natural world teaches us, through cooking, decorating, planting, because my life is so much slower these days. I'm, I mean, just me sat here in my kitchen on my own on a weekend it was such, it just didn't happen. I want to share those lessons that I've learned over those years with you and put it into this book so that you can refer back to it when you need it most. Now I feel we need to get into what the book looks like as well because I have rambled on. I've been so, so lucky first and foremost to have worked with the most incredible team of women on this book. Like there were times when I was sat there on my Zoom calls and in my meetings with them and I was honestly in awe. My publishers at Orion have just been the most patient, but also beautiful group of women to work with. These things are not achieved without an army of spectacular people working on it with you. So, <laughs> without further ado, I'm going to show you the third, no, the final cover. I get to show you because obviously the book is not here yet. We have literally like Friday morning finalized the cover and I want to show you the actual cover first and then I want to tell you a little bit more about the process that we went to to get to this point. But this is the cover of Evergreen. So it is the most beautiful shade of green Irish linen which has gold embossing with the most intricate ivy illustration climbing all over it. I wanted you to be able to judge this book by its cover. I know that's not the norm, but I wanted you to be able to because this book is so beautiful on the inside that I wanted you to see how beautiful that was on the outside. And I feel like this ivy, which was inspired by the 500 year old wall in our garden and the ivy that continues to grow and fuse itself with that wall. And this ivy has been here as long as we have 
as long as the people before us have been there, it's been there. And I, it's been a constant throughout the journey. Let's go back to the beginning of this cover. <laughs> and I'm so sorry if my publishers are watching this, but this was the first cover that was, um, that I ever saw for the book. And immediately I was sort of like, we need to, to hone and really look at the, the foliage that we're using and making sure that it feels substantial but delicate and beautiful and intricate. I wanted you to, to almost look at the, the detail and see something new every time that you look at it and I felt like maybe we weren't necessarily there with it just here. Um, and so then we explored some other options because there's a lot of lessons in here that are not just from evergreens. There are lessons from many different plants and animals, which was probably one of the most enriching parts of this journey was the research that went into this. Um, so we then explored these kind of wildflower sprigs. So we've got thistles, we've got poppies, we've got cow parsley, there's a little bit of lily of the valley or bluebells there. Um, but it just, I felt like it didn't depict the, the growth that lies within this book but also is experienced from reading this book and I really wanted that to be captured onto the cover as well. Um, we explored this sort of wildflower border at the bottom and I and I really really liked this to be honest. Um, you, you'll know that I have a, a lot of love for wildflowers and the thistles and the cow parsley and all of these things they felt very appropriate but um, it felt quite young, maybe a little bit more modern um, and a little bit less me because we had to get that balance of traditional and modern. I was pushing for like the old <laughs> antique book and everyone else was like, Lydia, come on, we've got to keep it modern. I was like, yes, 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 I know. Um, so then we found ourselves on this iteration. So we have a few different ones here and I've got to be honest that this was, uh, this was the one that I was ready to announce with. Porty, off. And it's not your, your parcel, no. So this was the cover that we were going to announce with um, last month. And I was sat there and I was reading one of the final versions and I loved this. There's foxgloves, there's ivy, there's um, hogweed, there's bluebells, there's literally everything in there and there's real elements of evergreen intertwined into this. However, the life lessons that come from evergreens are such an integral part of this book that I kind of felt like it maybe confused things a little bit and it also felt very the placement and this, this sort of border like this felt very sort of jazz hands and that's not what this book is. This book is reassuring. It's a hug. It's an arm from someone you love around your shoulders when you need it most, whilst also uh, the chinging of a wine glass across the table with your girlfriends when you're celebrating a milestone. And this felt maybe a little bit, a little bit too jazz hands for me. That was how I described it. And so from here, we kind of went back to the original design that we wanted something that was slightly more creeping, slower. You can really see with Ivy how it wraps itself around and clings on to ensure its survival and its resilience. But you can always tell that something is a slow grower because it sort of meanders a lot more. And this was the first iteration, but I was like, no, nope, it needs more growth. <laughs> it needs more growth. And that is where the final cover, which will be the cover that um, sits on your book, um, should you choose to purchase, which I really hope you do. And I especially hope that, I can't stop smiling, my face hurts so much. And it's also a good point for me to let you know how important that pre-orders are as well. Pre-orders are such a huge, huge part of uh, the success of books and with this being my first book I really really hope that in future we'll be able to do more and share more and I hope that Evergreen goes on to have many iterations but in order to do that um, you have to get your pre-orders in and there are also signed copies as well. I've partnered with um, Jaffa and Neil in the Cotswolds in Chipping Norton and you are able to get signed copies as well. They have a limited number of them. It was so important to me that we really honed up in on partnering with um, independent businesses 
on this and Jaffa and Neil is a bookshop that both Carrie and I have visited a number of times and um, it's one of my favourite bookshops so to be able to partner with them on this opportunity has been so lovely so if you wanted a um, signed copy then I'll pop the link to that in the description box down below but the ebook, the audio book, the hardcover tangible book will also all be linked down below and you can get your pre-orders in now. Like maybe there's just someone in your life that you're thinking they just need either a hug or they've just had the most incredible promotion at work and they just bought their first house and they just, this is the sort of thing that you give to someone and you're like, this is, this is the next part of your journey. And it's just the most thoughtful, thoughtful and beautiful gift. It will be launching on the 12th of October which is kind of perfect in the run up to Christmas as well. So if you're wanting to get ahead on Christmas presents, then I think that this is a great opportunity. <laughs> and of course I want to thank you because so many of you have stuck with me throughout the years and allowed me this space to grow and change and evolve and become this new version of myself. And I'm so grateful that you cheer me on and enjoy this little corner of the internet that we've cultivated together. Oh my gosh, but it's out there in the world and my goodness me, my whole body feels like numb. Like I literally got the final, final transcript. Of, I've got a headache. <laughs> the final transcript of this book like on Thursday and I've been reading through each of the chapters over the past few days and Oh my God, the tears every time I read through this book. And I, I can't stop reading it. I can't stop reading it. I can't. <laughs> and so I, I just, I cry so much. So yes, my outfit of the day is a Beaufort and Blake linen shirt over a little cami top with my bra sticking out. <laughs> I've got some Alaya jeans on, which were a sale purchase that I love. I've got some little uh, summer walks on. These are my tan leather ones. And my bag is a little basket bag um, that I picked up in Provence a few years ago. So it's raining, so that's why I've got these shoes on. And I probably will need something a bit warmer, but I don't really know what to put on because I don't want a blazer because it feels a bit feels a bit smart, doesn't it? Something warm, who knows? But anyway, my two boys. My two boys. Yes. Good stuff. Right, so now let's get cracking. Well, we are braving the storm in true evergreen style and I'm getting into my car. This is so weird. And I can also play this because I own the intellectual property. I no longer have qualms about walking away. As a result, my own it's book. Only in recent years where Stop it! <laughs> finally, equipped to fly in whichever direction I choose. I don't even know where I'm going first. Where are it's we going first? To note here that all sorts of Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and I'm currently listening to one of the chapters of my own book. <laughs> I can't believe I can say that, and also admit it on my channel, which is just surreal um <laughs> Ali and I are like ships passing in the night today he will be coming back uh this afternoon and I am leaving this morning because I'm heading to somewhere that I've never been before which I'm really really looking forward to I'm always looking forward to here's a hint of who I'm going with <laughs> I have a fresh fresh tub of my favorite favorite cream this is the advanced ceramide lift and firm day cream in spf 15 and i thought i'd put it on with you because it's really lovely because in some lights you can really capture how this goes on to the skin and how beautiful it looks because that for me is the usp i always like products that do like more than one thing um so this like intensely moisturizes then it has all of the added benefits of the ceramide which really helps build and protect and rejuvenate the dermis of your skin because serums tend to work like deeper this is really on the on the surface um it's obviously lifting firming all of the good stuff but it also has this iridescence which means that your skin just instantly looks that little bit more like i would say that this is a little pot of je ne sais quoi <laughs> So anyway, I'm heading to Beaverbrook with Elizabeth Arden. You can hear the sounds of the birds of prey outside my window. Um, 
we're going to Beaverbrook for the night and I have never been to Beaverbrook. And so I'm incredibly excited to experience this for the first time. Um, can you see that? Like, look, it is just, it's not oily either. Like that is the iridescence of the cream and it's thick enough that it feels like it's really kind of nourishing your skin, but it's not gonna sit on top of your skin. It soaks in beautifully. Um, we are going for their new retinol, which I will tell you more about later. I was sent a lab sample of this, what feels like a hundred years ago now, and now it's finally coming to the market. It's incredible. And so we're staying overnight at Beaverbrook to get to grips and, um, kind of experience it, be immersed in it, and we're having a sort of pink inspired dinner, which in all honesty has thrown me massively because I'm not a huge pink person. The only dress that I could think of for a hint of pink was my Oscar de la Renta one, but I feel like that might be a bit much, but I love being overdressed. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. My plan is to get ready as quickly as possible because I haven't done my hair, I haven't packed my suitcase, and um, I also have a lot of work to do in the car on the way down. Obviously book stuff, all of that kind of thing. So I'm not gonna get ready with you today. I might get ready with you maybe later on, I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm just gonna get my makeup onto my face so that I can get ahead, which is totally not going to happen by the way because I am running massively late but I have coffee so all is not lost but I spent the entire weekend um, basically recording just myself it's not the full recording for um, audiobooks that comes in a couple of weeks or a couple of months and for me that really helps me in getting like immersed in the book as well and making sure that sentences read properly read in the in the right way and it's been a massive helping um, tool that I've used when writing because I listen to it back and I'm like, ah, no, that's not, that's not how I'm wanting it to sound. So yeah, that's been one of my helping hands. I don't know, obviously I, I don't really know many people that have written books um, or to speak to often. So I don't know if that's a normal process, but it's massively helped me. And um, it's been lovely to sort of hear things come to life and just hear how the book will read versus how the book will sound. And it's, yeah, it's been really interesting. So I spent the entire weekend recording and listening to that back. So each part ends up being probably over an hour. And um, my voice yesterday, I just had to get out and walk and not talk to anybody. So um, I've spent a very, very chilled weekend. I had Alex and Alex over on Saturday, but I didn't vlog anything because um, our catch ups are so few and far between at the moment because they're busy mums and things like that. And obviously I'm working. You, you just kind of get together and it's like, oh, just breathe, just breathe, girls. It's a miserable day. It actually feels like autumn today, which is really, really strange. Um, such a strange feeling. And I don't know, it's something I noticed this morning, and I don't know whether this is just me or whether this is like a British thing, but the, the noise or the sound, I wake up to the sound of the, um, to the sound of the radio. And I don't know if that's, if it's just me, but the sound of the radio is like overwhelmingly nostalgic to me. Like the, the sound of just, uh, maybe it's morning radio in the way that morning radio hosts that I listen to probably on like radio four or something like that, probably not cool at all. Um, they, they kind of talk like this and they say good morning everyone and uh, today's weather is uh, slightly cloudy with a chance of rain. We are listening to the sounds of Chopin. <laughs> and it's so nostalgic for me and I don't actually know why. Like I, I can't think of a time when I've ever listened to the radio to wake me up. But maybe it, it reminds me of driving to school. I don't know but it's such a bizarre um, nostalgic feeling for me that I'm just, yeah, I've only really noticed it this morning and I really love waking up to the radio, to be honest. Um, my uh, Philips Hue is actually broken, so I need to replace it because the air reel on it is broken. So it's a bit fuzzy. So that is my update. I don't know why I'm telling you about those things, but I'm gonna get ready, okay? I'm gonna get ready, you're gonna see me, my hair's gonna be done, and we're, yeah, we're gonna be ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
as always, I have arrived super early, but I am getting to sit in this gorgeous location overlooking the grounds of Beaverbrook. I think we're having dinner here this evening if the sun begins to shine. But I'm going to perch myself on this sofa next to the gorgeous bookcase. Oh, I want one of these for our living room. And look out over these spectacular views. Hopefully it does get sunny, but at least I know I'm coming back here so that I can have a proper explore on another day if it's not sunny. I have just finished off some work and I'm in the toilets here at Beaverbrook before I head upstairs. Um, we're going to start the event with Elizabeth Arden. And yes, that is Winston Churchill playing in the background whilst I had a wee. <laughs> Loads of other reasons why this is the perfect um, venue. So Lord Beaverbrook was Canadian, as was Elizabeth Arden, and he came to the UK in 1910, which was the year that Elizabeth Arden Brown was born. Um, he, um, he basically set up the Daily Express Group, which obviously he had journalists and influencers at his heart, as we obviously have in this room. He was one of the first um, and, and frequently appeared on Time magazine, so you will see in the foyer there's pictures of um, him on Time magazine. Elizabeth Arden was the first businesswoman and the only second woman to feature on Time magazine. And so this was the first home cinema in literally the world, but definitely in the country, and he, where he hosted lots of his friends, including Winston Churchill. So we are thrilled to be able to host you in this red screening room um, today. I'm joined by the lovely PR team, Lavanna, who has led the show on this and probably been in your inbox like mo most days, Hannah, who's just popped to check the ladies room, Charlotte, who always came back, and you might not have seen since she came back from maternity leave, um, and Lucy is running around doing something else. Um, PR assistant extraordinaire. Yeah. Before we kind of move on to lunch and the big reveal. We just wanted to sort of tell Lisa's the Falcon story. She was a, a pioneer, a visionary, a CEO, a suffragette, and really just, she was actually a, all in all a really kind and inspiring lady. Um, like we said, in 1910, she came to, um, uh, from Canada. She borrowed her money off her brother, because in those days, banks wouldn't lend any money to women, shock. Um, so she borrowed the money off her brother and some friends. She came to Fifth Avenue, the most fashionable street, um, in New York and she opened her salon. She painted the door red so it stood out and that's where the iconic logo was formed. Um, her support for women um, really came into um, play when she supported the suffragette movement. She was very sort of about women's empowerment um, and here she handed red lipsticks out as a, as, as a sign of empowerment to, to really sort of build their confidence. In 1930, the iconic eight hour cream was born um, which obviously is now still loved and relevant, unchanged in formula by multi-generations. And I don't think I need to tell you the story. I think you know all about the, the story of that one. Um, continuing her support with the women during the war, she created a, um, a makeup collection, which was um, a lipstick, a rouge, and a nail varnish um, in the red to match their uniforms. And um, she also toured hospitals and supported um, children during that war movement. <laughs> I'm here with Craig, and Craig has just done my oxygen facial, so that was completely without context then because I got too excited. But he's just been teaching us all about the product that we're going to be discussing when I get to my room, and I've just had the glow. I mean, I'm even more Your glowing now. Your skin is glowing, it looking even more beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I have arrived to Beaverbrook, and I feel like it's probably been a little bit bitty up until this point because. I kind of arrived, but I had some work to finish off, so I took myself off to one of the um, 
sort of living room areas and just sat there because I was a bit early and so the girls were like if you don't mind you can have like a coffee somewhere because I didn't want to stress them and rush them in any way so I took myself off sat in a, a little corner and got my work done and then obviously it's so lovely because then like, there's like this sort of congregation of lots of people that I really really get on with and it's such a wonderful group here like there's Re who I obviously went to her launch recently and it's so wonderful because I'm like sat next to Rhee and her Shopify is going off and she's getting orders for her beauty brand and then Lily's here, Ruth Crilly's here, like Lily and Ruth I just get on with so well, they're such lovely people and so it's one of those groups where you just kind of, you get almost overwhelmed because you've got so much to talk about even though I've just very recently seen both Rhee and Lily but it's just lovely so we've had lunch we had lunch in the beautiful sort of orangery here and I haven't had a chance to explore which is something that I desperately want to do and so I'm really hoping that I'm going to get to do that um, on a future visit um, but I am staying in Morn which is one of what I think must be one of the top like the not top as in top tier but I mean one of the top of the house and I feel very, 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 very lucky to be staying here and getting to stay in this room because it's so beautiful. I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour because I feel like that's the normal thing that I do. Um, and we are in this beautiful, beautiful room. Like I love headboards like this. This is definitely what I want to get sorted for um, one of the guest bedrooms with this beautiful piping. We've got leaf print walls. There's tongue and groove paneling, a beautiful chandelier, all of my stuff and these beautiful chairs at the end as well. Got some lovely bits from Arden as well as I get to finally, because it's so weird. I've obviously been trying this product for, for months now and actually it's so weird when you try a lab sample you never really like it's weird to sort of think about what the packaging is going to look like and so it's wonderful to actually see it hold it and get the opportunity to use it with you we have a katie loxton personalized bag we've got some nadine murabi um pajamas which i've never had the fluffy bits stanley mug we've got some goodies in there but this is the piece de resistance aside from the carpet the piece de resistance is the views over the Surrey countryside and the gardens here at Beaverbrook. When I tell you that I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in Downton Abbey. This is the sort of um, moments in life where I'm like, oh my gosh, Lydia from eight years ago who started her blog would never have imagined that she would be here. And I just want you to know that it's always gratitude that is where my excitement is from. Like grateful that I get to come and experience these things and be an absolute cringe fest and tell you how much, how lucky I feel and how much I appreciate it. <laughs> Cause I am such a cringe fest. But there's beautiful pergolas down there. You can hear the trickling of water from the little thingy down there. Um, I'll take you inside as well. I love the carpet, the seagrass carpet is just my favourite. I am going to turn down the air conditioning though because I think it is set to summer and it's definitely not feeling very summer-like today so we can, I think we might just turn it off shall we? No, that's, there we go, off. Brass plates and we have this lovely little area here which this will be good for suitcases and things like that because I always think it's very handy to have areas to put your suitcases in a hotel room because otherwise it feels overwhelming. I love this bathroom with the tongue and groove and the marble and the old toys. It's so, so wonderful. And a few little bits and pieces here. The iconic Ceramide Replenishing Cleansing Oil. Oh, my little Mitchum deodorant's fallen in the sink. I am a Mitchum deodorant user through and through. In fact, I've got mine, which is the roll-on version, in my luggage because it, it was funny. Not that I'm here to talk about Mitchum, but I've been trying all of these deodorants and I just said to Carrie the other day, I was like, Carrie, I've been trying all of these like natural deodorants and things like that. I'm going back to Mitchum because it's the only thing that actually gave me like confidence and I never sweat when I use Mitchum. I used to use it when I was at school and you know when you're like going through puberty and your body temperature is like something that you're just unable to regulate that was 
me at school and it was the only product that stopped me sweating so i went back to that just for a little insight there we've also got some bamford products which is lovely we've got some eight hour cream which i have hundreds of because i, ha I literally have them everywhere Provage City Smart, which is the very, very wonderful, very luxurious and beautiful um, SPF from uh, Elizabeth Arden. It is from their Provage range, which is their higher price point range. But for me personally, I always want to know that I'm using the best products um, when it comes to protecting my skin. And then we have the Retinol Ceramide Capsules. Now, you know, I am obsessed with these. These capsules are one of, if not my favorite retinol of all time, because it's the only one that keeps my retinol like super potent because it comes in the capsules and you don't have to worry about the waste because they are bio, purely like completely biodegradable. So they are amazing. Oh, I'm out of breath. We've also got the line raising eye cream as well which is wonderful and then we are obviously going to be looking at the product itself which is why we are here and um you'll know i love my ceramide moisturizer but this is quite special this one so we'll use it this evening but this is a retinol and it's a hpr retinol which is definitely something new for me to try and i have been really enjoying learning about the complexities and it's so interesting understanding the facets of the product that I like and understanding them in like a, a scientific sense so the fact that I can use it in the morning and in the evening is another great little bonus but understanding that it's because the ingredients that they've used in this product don't it means that the um, retinol is actually stabilized so it doesn't break down in sunlight so it continues working on your skin without any sort of implications or damage or anything like that it's amazing um, I've also not been able to tell you about it. I didn't know where, even whether I was gonna be able to tell you too much about it today because obviously these things are embargoed and I have had this tiny little lab sample for such a long time. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't talk to you about it. But I love that, it makes me very, very excited. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get myself all settled and um, unpacked and ready for a lovely evening. And I'm going to gel this part of my hair that keeps falling out and is driving me mad. But yes, very, very lovely start to the day. I'm just about to go and meet the girls, but the biggest question that I have been realizing has gone unanswered in this room is, do we think that Princess Diana sat at this table also? So I'm starting to realize that every hotel I've gone to has got one of these tables. And I'm starting to think that there's a potential here that I could have had, I could have. Yeah, they, they might have taken me for an idiot, but um, yeah, I'm saying she did sit at it. <laughs> I'm saying she did, <laughs> but I've just popped my dresses out to be steamed and where am I? You can't see me in the mirror. There we go. I'm going to go meet them downstairs now. Okay, I'm balancing you precariously on the uh, balustrades, but my outfit for the evening, which obviously has to have a hint of pink is this dress from Costarellos because it's got the almost like Barbie pink detailing which I feel takes like center stage with the embroidery so I thought I'd wear this it's something I've got I didn't have to buy anything new and then I've just gone for my usual accessories I probably should go for something pink but this is what we're going with at the moment I've left my hair in and then changed my earrings to my Susan Kaplan just so you can see a little bit better any better there. Terrible. <laughs> there we go. Voila. I need to get Lily Pebbles to do up my uh, dress though because it's not done up to the top. <laughs> So this is where we were going to eat this evening, but it is spitting, but it just gives us something to look forward to. And this just looks so picturesque. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfectly timed, Lily. That, that, that can do. <laughs> 
literally exposed. <laughs> no, no, she's mocking me because basically Lily's really good at getting her camera out and I'm really good at doing absolutely nothing and then heading back to my room and debriefing with you in the safety of my room and I was trying to vlog on my own and Lily called me. Yes, yes. Yes. Very much so. peculiar person vlogging. I've never seen one before. It does feel that way. I know, I know. Like, I want to be really like... How many years later? Like 30? Yeah. Where oh, are we can going? we go that way or this? What's Either way. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's go inside. Going inside. Are we not going around? No, Quality content from me, as always. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I need to get the girls to like plan a birthday party. Wow. Oh, my gosh. How pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, I'm going for my patch shots now. I'll just get this over. <laughs> Give us what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm here! Oh, perfect! So, we are having dinner at the. Um, what's this? What's this? Is it a Japanese one? Yeah, it's got green ants. Yeah, Japanese. They're okay. sustainable ants yeah. from Kent. They're sustainable ants. Sustainable ants. Sustainable ants. Sustainable ants. I know. So, so basically, sorry, I'm trying to wrap my head around this, but this is one of the courses that we're having, and basically, this is called Special Nigiri, and it has come. These are ants. On. Have you taken them off? Lorna, Lorna, you were you were giving it the big one that you're going in. Oh right, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I'll, I'll let I'll let you off. I'm waiting for Lorna. Lorna was like, I'm gonna do it, so I'm waiting for Lorna to have it. I'm like, can you do it, I'll do it. Oh, okay. I do need a little bit of soy though. Oh yeah. Did you have it? I took a few off. <laughs> Got a brace, so just give me a bit of you know, okay, movement. I'm going in. Oh, I don't, have you done it? No, you've not done it. Okay. You're not. I think you've got to do it. You've got to do it. You can't do it. Really. Maybe just knock a few off that I did. But the thing is, is I've always said that there isn't enough money for anyone to pay me, even if they were like, Lily, do you want to go on? I'm a celebrity. Okay. There totally is not enough money. Totally <laughs> Do you know what the thing that's worrying the most is the bits that it's the bits that it's in your mouth do it Cam. Yeah, but it's those bits. Uh, I, I do get that. Have you done it? Oh, Lydia's doing it. Lydia's doing it. You have to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, but I'm just going back in. I, I took one off, the one that looked extra prickly. Uh, I think I've got more than you had. No, I <laughs> no. That was a very interesting segue into me in my pajamas, ready for bed. But it is two in the morning, and. I just had to be the bearer of, in fact, I don't even think I was the bearer of bad news because I was like, I'm going to go to bed. And they were all like, yeah, we're going to go to bed too. And they've definitely stayed downstairs. And as I was walking up the stairs, you could definitely hear them all howling. So I think they're going to be up for some time. But two in the morning because as with every Arden trip, just so many lovely people to like catch up with, but also just 
laugh with and have fun with. I was sat next to Lorna, which was such a treat because I don't think I've probably, properly caught up with Lorna for such a long time. I just, I feel like I'm always like Lily Pebbles, Ruth, Marie, all of the same people, but it's just really nice, really, really lovely. And obviously the, the ladies from Arden are so amazing in like cultivating trips that are lovely and they're also just so kind as people. Anyway, I am going to get off my makeup and finally get into the, no, that's the capsules. Where's my actual one? So we're going to finally get into the new retinol and HPR ceramide rapid skin renewal water cream. So, I was like standing so close, but I've got you uh, positioned on a little cup. So for me, retinols are like a love, a love-hate relationship. And I find that there are a lot of retinols that get huge amounts of hype that are really blooming difficult to use. And I also just want to be using products nowadays that I don't have to like balance and make sure that it's like, I'm, am I using it on the right day? There's a lot of faff with skincare and I feel like the thing that Arden does amazingly, and I said it earlier in the video, is they are able to make products that do multiple things first and foremost. Like this, in, this particular product encapsulates everything that I love about the ceramide cream that I showed you this morning as well, the day cream, because they thought about the formulation so that when it's actually on your skin, it looks stunning. But they have studies, tests, they have clinical trials, but they also have consumer trials. They have like evidence-based uh, research to back up what their um, products do. And 100% of the consumers that they asked said that they would buy this product having tested it and 100 i believe this is right 100 percent of the consumers said that they experienced results from this particular product and this was is definitely a new one for, uh, for me in terms of ingredient but you'll know that i've been trying trialing this it must be like six months i had a little but i haven't been trialing it for that long i had a little sample that was like this not this big and they sent it to me i think it was like april may no April, March, who knows? And I used it. And it's one of those products that first of all, I can't tell you about because lab sample. Second of all, people were like, Lydia, what have you got on your skin? And I was like, I just have to politely ignore. Um, and so what this is, this is essentially a retinol that you can use morning and night because the HPR stabilizes the formula. So it means that you can use it in sunlight. I know I mentioned this earlier. <clears throat> but the main thing for me is this is retinol without the risk is the best way that I can put it. It is retinol that you can use, experience the benefits of and not get anything, which was a new one that I learned today, any retinosis, 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 which that is basically if you ever get flaking, if you ever get purging of your skin with retinol, which is something that I often experience with like other retinols. This is no downtime, it's no irritation, there's no burning, there's no spots, there's no nothing. It's just the beautiful effects of retinol in a manageable way, but really potent. I believe it's like a 2%, is, I don't know if that's official, so might have to cut that out, but it's like a 2% um, HPR and retinol formulation. Um, which is really good, stronger than I've ever used. But anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my makeup off and I'm going to get into bed because I'm going to get a lie-in tomorrow. And um, because the sausage dogs wake me up at like six, oh, to be fair, I say not, uh, a lay-in, but um, I wake up naturally most of the time. But usually one of the sausage dogs wakes me up and um, there's no... There's no sleeping in, which is how I relate to all of the mums that I was with this evening. Um, I might try this, you know. I never use oil cleansers, but I'm gonna give this a whirl. I know that Carrie is obsessed with this, so I'm gonna pop that on, but very excited to experience this in its like professional form because my little sample 
was like a little white thingy and it really wasn't like, it's not the beauty of Arden skincare that we all know and love. And it also says water cream by the way on it, which don't let that fool you. It's not just packed full of water. It means it has the consistency and the effects of like, just plumpy, watery goodness. So yeah, don't let that fool you. Niche. And the wonderful thing about this is that you can layer it with your ceramide capsules as well. So you'll know that the retinol ceramide capsules are pretty much the only retinol that I use, which is these ones. I interchange these with my Skin and Me. You'll know I'm the biggest Skin and Me fan, and just because I use one wonderful product does not mean I don't use another. And I really like to play around with my skincare because my skin is temperamental. Sometimes it needs one thing, so it might need the like niacinamide and the um, azaleac acid that is in my Skin and Me, and sometimes it needs a good retinol. And I don't make it make sense, but to be honest, I feel like my skin is like me. It doesn't often know what it wants. <laughs> and so I have to, more than anything, just look at how my skin is looking, pay attention to that. And I do think I do it really well. I often look at my videos, not blowing my own trumpet. And I think, do you know what, Lydia? Wow, your skin looks good today. However, we're just going in with this. So handy little pump. beautiful sort of pinky toned product as well and I've got to say the water cream don't let it fool you it doesn't feel watery it's definitely got a beautiful amount of um, richness to it feels like it's a good hydrator and I always say it when it comes to Arden products but Every single time I see anyone in my family, whether it's my mum, my nonna, anyone, they want the Arden products because the Arden products, they know they've been using for such a good, look at that, the glow. But they, they, they know that Arden's been around for such a long time, they've used it for such a long time. It's tried and tested and they know how their skin looks with it. And they are always like, I just want the Arden products. If you've got Arden, let me have some. So anyway, I will link this down below. Um, it's just launched. It's it's exclusive in Boots at the moment, or you can get it on um, uh, the Arden website. And it goes hand in hand with your ceramide, your hyaluronic acid, um, and you can use it day and night, obviously, and just pure loveliness. So yeah, just thought I'd tell you that whilst I go and get into bed because I'm tired. Such a late night, oh my gosh. <laughs> Good morning everyone. If I'm looking a bit bleary eyed, it's because we had an eventful night, not just in fun, but um, I ended up moving rooms at about four o'clock in the morning because I was looking up and I was like, I think that that is a spider. And I turned the lights on and there was a spider in my room and the hotel was amazing. Like they really helped to get the spider outside when they realized that they couldn't they just swiftly moved me into another room and I slept there but I've come back because the spider has gone to bed itself and I've just packed up my stuff had some croissant and um, a coffee and now I'm checking out and heading home what a lovely lovely trip and we have woken up to beautiful sunshine here at Beaverbrook and I am so so looking forward to coming back and experiencing it a little bit more. I want to do a walk of the grounds. I have no idea what happened on the end clip when I was at Beaverbrook, but there just wasn't anything there. So here I am finishing the vlog because I thought it would be a little bit weird if I didn't finish it properly. But um, yes, if you made it this far into the vlog, I just want to say a huge thank you again. I have scratching sausage dogs around me in um, the guest bedroom. But I, yeah, I just wanted to say a huge thank you. I started teasing the book over the last couple of days and it's just been so exciting. So the fact that it's out there is just unreal. Um, 
obviously if you've made it this far you can uh, pre-order at you can pre-order signed copies at Jaffa and Neil I'll pop a link in the description box and you can also just pre-order normal copies and uh, from like all good bookshops basically and Amazon and places like that I honestly think so many of you are going to love this so I'll pop everything in the description box down below and that's goodbye from me and goodbye from the sausage dogs <laughs>